Second, do we need to call it to order or no? Yeah, call it back to order, Mr. Chairman. Uh, well, this, uh... We, uh, hmm? I don't know about the local law enforcement. I said, I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're going to agree with but I said, we may not have a deal then. Well, if I bring it to the floor, are you going to vote against the farmers? It's not against them. When I'm done with you, you ain't going to want to. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> That's not, well, yeah. the world is, I bet. Is that a threat? Yeah. We'll just go to us. Yeah. All right. Y'all ready? Just haven't heard. Yeah. We're back yeah. in court. Yeah, we'll be back in court. <laughs> if anybody hadn't figured it out, Russ Goodman's pretty passionate about farmers. So if you hear anything, it's not. A, are you yeah. a farmer? I am a farmer. I didn't know that. 200 years. Excellent. All right. Excellent. Let's get this thing started. <laughs> we, we, we've talked and. Um, you know, the, the Senate talks amongst themselves, and we have had some discussion. Uh, one of the things that we want to propose is that the, the radius be 120 miles. Um, that's something. Uh, well, we said 120. I don't want you ordering steak. I don't want you ordering steaks for me. You're going to get the smallest one. <laughs> um, the uh lean. yeah lean that's right two year sunset is what the senate proposed um the point of contention that we we have uh and james we're we're running what the um the local law enforcement is something that a lot of a lot of people have a lot of heartburn with for um, yes. Um, What's your position on that? Um, you want well, personally, now this we're a little bit of a split opinion. I wish it wasn't in there. That's that's me. That's my personal opinion. I don't want it in there either. <laughs> but they. Um, but I'm also trying to give something that's a lifeline to. Was that a good choice for you? We've got a compromise on that. Okay. I'm you know I'm I'm trying to give a lifeline to some some folks especially y'all this is different since covid you know we're looking at four dollar and fifty cent diesel and everything else yeah we need to move on so go ahead do you have anything you want to add representative meeks yes i'm sorry Rep representative uh Brichette, please so, so um you want to keep it in there do you want to do you want to amend it in any so sort of way well Rep uh senator gooch has proposed making it where the law enforcement's in there, but it sunsets with the law. So after two years, the local law enforcement goes away. And if we can't come up with some kind of compromise in two years, that the, um, the basically the entire turn. The, if you don't mind turning the mic on. Yes. Basically, the two-year sunset would be for the entire piece of legislation. Applicable to the. Uh, I right. like that provision. What do you think? What do you say to this? Yeah. What do you say to this, Mr. Uh, Senator Gooch? What if we say we leave the local? enforcement in there but we ask that any penalties or fees be um, um, they would go to the state not to the locals it's already under current law that way we do have an amendment that we had for the bill earlier that would direct it to the locals but that yeah. never got added to the bill so, the, so as, as written all the funds will go to the state treasury so if the locals are to enforce then all the money would go to the state yes no so, no fees going anywhere else yes but in the in the future i would suggest we reconsider that and direct those funds to the jurisdiction of which the fines are written just like if a state trooper pulls you over later i'm i am concerned about policing for profits with I that understand. on the working and, and, man and like i said today it would go to the state treasury but just know that if a state trooper pulls you over in your county chairman or whip or chip the fines go to the local county or city where the fines where the ticket is written you understand that it doesn't go to the state. If a state trooper pulls you over on your way home tonight for South County, for a speeding ticket. yes, for a speeding ticket, that fine revenue goes to that county or that city where that ticket is written. It does not come to the state. State police are writing tickets at state expense, but the revenue goes to the local governments. A lot of people don't know that. But as this bill's written, it would come. That fine revenue would come back to the state treasury. So there would not be an incentive to 
set up speed traps for local revenue. Is what that's a bill's written today. There's a lot of const there's a lot of consternation amongst folks about that. Well, this this protects your concern on that. I want to I want to recognize Representative Meeks. This is his bill, and Representative Meeks, I think you. You, you should have more to say than anybody about it. So. Well, the, the 120 miles, the reason we had recommended 150 to keep it consistent with FMAP among the commodities, which is the federal program that allows you to drive within a 150-mile radius of your farm. I don't know why we would go anything short of that. Um, we were looking at, at uh, three years instead of two, and, you know, again, we can negotiate that. But, um, you know, the... The eliminating local law enforcement, I think, is important. Um, I get everybody's position. If we're going to sunset this in two years to take a look at it, then, you know, that's what we're going to do, in, in, you know, regardless. So, um, you know, Mr. Chairman, however you want to proceed from there, um, we did look at adding a provision that we had talked about amongst ourselves, at least on the House side, that would include uh, those that are hauling agriculture finished goods to, for distribution or for retail uh, consumption. It was in a previous version of a bill that uh, we had drafted. Uh, we'll put it out there for consideration as well. Uh, the other thing that we eliminated from the 10 percent variance was solid waste. Uh, I know that was important, so we uh, eliminated that from the um, from the 10 percent variance, so we would stay at the uh, the, four, the 5 percent variance, 94,000. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Chairman Jasper is number five. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I concur with uh, Chairman Meeks on local law enforcement. I'd like to see them eliminated and just letting CMCG do that. You know, did look at locking in the attainment area to the current date as the bill signed. Just on the, on the you know, we talked to Legislative Council with, to do that and look very carefully at the current bill to make sure none of the fines are stackable. And That's that uh, was very important. And it is correct. They're not stacked. They're not stacked. They're not right. Mr. Chairman, I'm I'm, I'm with them on on the local law enforcement. I I would love to reach a deal here. And and one of the concerns that uh, the chairman brought um, here, uh, Chairman Dolezal, was that then you have you know someone that's not fully fully trained um, to 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 perform these these. Um, you know, way in there on the side of the road. Uh, I mean, the, for the fact that, that that the locals have, you know, they haven't asked to do this, and um, I think it would just. Be, we even had the sheriffs' association said that they were not keen about it. Uh, can, can I respond to both of those comments? Yeah, please. Terry Norris is in this building every day that we're in this building. He is neutral on that bill. He's not supporting it or opposing it. He did say, and I asked him to verify this, he said that DPS does 24 weeks of training, <clears throat> which includes weights and inspections. They have no training for weights only, just like trooper school. There is a lot of added to the minimum. Uh, apparently it takes 40 hours to train the deputies on the weight side. And so if the local governments want to do local law enforcement. They have to certify these police officers or these deputies in order to be able to write those tickets through this state required training. It's not something they're going to give Barney Fife as we heard earlier. They have to be certified. They have to have the equipment. There's a possibility that hardly any of these cities or counties will do this in the next two years. But giving them the opportunity to do that as an option, not a mandate, I think is the right thing to do. Otherwise, you're looking into the camera and you're saying, we don't want to enforce the law that we're going to set here tonight. I don't know how you can go home and justify that to people. If people are killed in truck wrecks and they come down here and testify next year that their daughters or sons got killed and your response is we didn't want local law enforcement to be enforcing overweight trucks that's going to be hard for us to be able to face those people and, and explain how we came across that decision so i think we leave it in for an option for the locals to do it there may not be any that choose to for two years after two years we'll have a new bill we'll have a new comprehensive freight and logistics plan chairman jaspers mm -hmm that will include weights for all industries, not just ag and timber. 
So I think it's a good compromise. We've, we've met you guys in the middle, and I think it's a fair compromise. We should accept it and go get this printed tonight. What do you think about, instead of the locals doing it, how do we beef up MCC, the, the, the motor carrier group? How, how can we you, do that? You wait till next year and propose a new budget, which kills another 12 months. Nobody is in here saying that we don't want to enforce the law, Senator Gooch. It's a... <laughs> We're, you're you're expanding the enforcement to local to local law enforcement when we have a <coughs> motor carrier group for just this specific purpose and so I, I'm, I would say I would be in favor of somehow uh, increasing that staff uh, or um, we just pass the budget I know for which you didn't include we just pass the budget for you which, say something that makes? For which the Senate didn't include a pay raise for MCCD. The House did. I understand it's not in the final budget. Because our, our budget had to balance. Well, ours did too. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Guys, look, how do you stand here and say we don't want to enforce the laws that you're agreeing to adopt? You're afraid of either facing the reality or you're afraid that some cop is going to go out there and start harassing truck drivers. Do you think your sheriff and your county commissioners are going to be allowing that for very long? You and I will all hear from it next year and we'll be back in here changing the law and we'll take this power away from them just like we can authorize them to give it tonight. It's my understanding, Mr. Leader, that that's been done over history and it didn't work so well and it was changed. And we give them one more chance to prove us wrong. Mr. Leader, or Mr. Chairman, can I propose that we reconvene in 20 minutes? Is that going to give us enough We're time? We're running out of time. But well, Mr. Leader, it seems... <laughs> um, there's... Senator Dolezal, what's your feelings on, on the, uh, in order to, to make, in terms of local law enforcement? I, th I think that if, if you're concerned with policing for profit and the money goes to the state, I think that I keep coming back to what I said earlier, and I think that the leader just said it as well. The, the law enforcement piece very much feels like we know we're running at 95. 80% of the time, and we just don't want to have to be accountable for it. And whether that's, whether we look at that from a safety perspective or road degradation perspective, I don't know how you pass a law and say don't enforce it. And, and, and Chairman, um, maybe you have information that I don't have, but if there's one person running around this state on a weekend enforcing, we essentially have zero enforcement. And so I don't, I have a, I have a hard time accepting that as a solution. Um, a compromise to put this out there it could be the local law enforcement has one year where everything else has two years and then with that forces our hand on the budget next year i haven't discussed that with anybody else but that's a thought that i have of how you split the baby but i i, I think that it's i think the hand of the industry is being exposed when the industry fights against law enforcement at every angle whether that's reporting at the mill whether that's being able to to you're essentially telling my sheriff that he that if he sees a truck that is grossly overloaded he can't do anything well what if we what if we allow in, in the bill it allows for them to see it if they see a truck that's grossly um overweight they they hold them they they say hold hold fast uh, we'll get mcc here uh chairman where do you live i live in millwood how long would it take to get from millwood to dahlonega six uh, hours you uh, you've made the trip this past go around right, do you want your truckers <laughs> to be sitting on the side of the road for six hours for that one inspector on that saturday afternoon that's um, not, i don't think that's practical I'm, I'm well but is it can, can we have the conversation with the mccd on that topic and see you know is that the norm or is it not i don't know if it is it may not be that may not be and, and it may be it, it may not be a fair characterization that's, they just came off true. of a long I, weekend working the the uh, i know there was a bunch of them over in savannah and st patrick's day parade <clears throat> yeah so. Yeah, I mean, they set up right outside our mills uh, down down south, so they're catching uh, the I folks can, coming. We in. see them frequently in my part. We the see them all the time because you look up US one and when his district and they're parked outside of the pellet mill. Chairman, every day. Makes, you made the point earlier. They're not enforcing them on back roads. They're on four lane highways. 
these two lane roads in counties and cities are our concern for the local government. So we know they're not, they don't have the resources to do it today. We can't give them the resources until next year at the earliest. But All you want to hold the bill hostage till you can get some well, we resources wanna, we wanna whenever we the, knew this was coming. We want to make the right policy so, tonight so we can move this bill um, forward. It's the, I believe it's the right thing to do. We're asking people to enforce the laws and then honor the laws. How can that be? The, well, we're under this be, assumption we're, we're that not, the MCCD is not doing that. Doing that. It's I, not what you're saying, MCCD. you're saying the MCCD is not capable of doing their no, job. Sir, you are, you are totally misrepresenting what I said. Well, well, we're well, saying we're all agreeing that they don't have the resources to cover 110,000 miles of so roads they, in Georgia. So, so we have There's a resource. 100,000 miles of roads in the state. They're covering the, the interstates. They're covering the state routes, the four lanes. They are not covering these local county roads well i don't mean to misrepresent what you're saying but well, what you where where i see mccd at is on my local roads not on my state roads i see them right there on well uh, i see them on 82 i see them on the bypass i see them on us1 state i see routes. them I see them on the state routes, which are the routes where the mills are back home. I don't know of mills that are just off of, off of like, county. I'm just going to add this, and I, I, I'm going to go. Um, and I'll be back as soon as this vote's over. Leader Gooch is committed to, because I, I will remind you guys the posture that I believe that we're in, which is that I don't know that you, I think you lose senators when you radically change this bill. The leader has committed to, to Russ that with what he's proposed, he will speak in favor of the bill and will work the caucus for it. I believe your position is also the inverse. If correct, so I, I would think that you, let's take 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Talk through that. Yeah. Reconvene. Yeah. So how, how, what do you want to? Can, can we meet back here in 10 minutes? I'll be back here as soon as this vote's done. Can we get some cl clarity language in there to, to to assure that those fees are going to the state? You can ask Jenna Dole. She has already emailed me that, and I asked her to prepare the the. Um, amendment that was a week or two ago so the bill hasn't changed and it didn't change before it went to the floor so the way it passed the Senate the revenues go to the state treasury but she can confirm that for okay you. thank you mr. Uh, we're gonna stand at ease for 10 or 15 minutes